This is question 21. Here we're told the diagram shows a cylinder inside a cone on a horizontal base. We're then told the cone and the cylinder have the same vertical axis. Uh, by vertical axis, it just means that they um, have the same center point, if you like. So that line is the same. Um, then the base of the cylinder lies on the base of the cone. We're then told that the circumference of the top face of the cylinder touches the curved surface of the cone. So that is touching um, the curved surface of the cone, so the top face. And then the height of the cone is 12 centimeters. We're given that length there. And the radius of the base of the cone is 4 centimeters. That's that length there. We're asked to work out the curved surface area of the cone. So to do this, we're going to use this formula that we're given for the curved surface area of the cone, which is pi r l. Now, what we can see, and we can see this from this diagram, is that we have got the r part of this formula, the radius, but we and we have the height. So we've got the r part and we've got the height, 4 and 12, but we don't have this length l. But what we can do quite simply is, if we think about this, what we've got here is a right angle triangle. We've got the, this part here is 4, that's the radius. We know the height is 12. We've got a right angle here. And so we just need to find out what that length L is. Once we find that length L, we can substitute into this formula pi r L and then um, and then once we've got L, we can just substitute in. So let's work out this length. So to do this, I'm just going to use Pythagoras. So 12 squared gives me 144. Then 4 squared gives me 16. I'm going to add these together because I'm looking to try and find the hypotenuse. So 144 plus 16 to give me 160. And then last thing that I'm going to do is square root to give me that length. So what I can say is that this length here that I've labeled x is 100 and, uh, the square root of 160. So all that is there for us to do is to substitute into our formula. So take in um, pi, so we're going to just type in pi, multiplied by the radius, which is 4, multiplied by L, the length we just found, which is the square root of 160. That's going to give us 158.95. We're asked to give it to correct to three significant figures. So we're going to say that this is 159, and that is centimetres squared, because we're talking about surface area. So the answer for part A is going to be 159 centimetres squared.